Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is take you around Seven Springs. And we talked about the small town, so I wanted to show you what it's like. So I'm gonna turn my camera around. So this is the entrance of our town. Up there is uh, Seven Springs Church. So I'm just gonna take a little walk around. Oh, we have some feral cats down here. So I'm just gonna walk through. Um, this area was originally called uh, Whitehall. It was um, one of the first places where they had hot springs here. And the hot springs folks would, um, or they would come out and soak in the spring and, you know, try and get better. Um, our mayor lives there in that house. That's Mayor Potter's house. Um, let me step over. It's a busy traffic day. So now I'm just going to keep going. We do have our Christmas decorations still up, so you can see those on the side of the pole there. Um, to the right, we have, or I'm sorry, to the left, we have Herring Street, and that's um, one of my family names is Herring. Um, so, because my people have lived here since this has uh, been established. Uh, the flood pretty much took out a lot of the houses that were here. So if we look down that way, you can see there's a lot of tape up and, oh, there's another kitty cat down there. Looks like we got a lot of cat problems around here. Um, this is an old restaurant. Um, shut down, been shut down for a while. So I'm still walking through. There's our stoplight ahead. It's not really a stoplight, just a flashing light. People make jokes about that, but it's for real. Um, down Simmons Street. Again, you can see everything sort of shuttered and closed down. Not a lot going on. That's a gigantic magnolia tree. It's gorgeous. Smells wonderful down here when it's um, in the summertime when it's in full bloom. Right next to it's a big old pecan tree, or pecan tree, depending on what, how you want to call it. Here's our town hall. So that's the town hall. It's closed today because it's a holiday. Across the street, we have the post office. And over here, we have May's Restaurant. It's been here for a while. As we get closer here to Spring Street, um, this is where the Confederate battlegrounds are, or uh, burial grounds are, I should say. And um, my family, the Whitfields, are buried in that, in a uh, special grave marker for, with the uh, Confederate keystones and all of that business on it. Um, there used to be a big house right here on this lot, but it was uh, taken out by the flood. This is a little grain store it used to be. You can see everything's kind of shuttered up now, no electricity. And again, still the same Christmas decorations are up though. A little Christmas wreath over there. They're talking about turning this into like an RV campground um, since most people won't rebuild since the flood is taking them all out. And where I'm walking to down here is Whitehall Bridge. Oh, got some more traffic coming behind me. Let's see who this is. Let's pull over a little bit. Oh, someone passing through. We don't get a lot of visitors around here most of the time, but today, because I wanted to film, everybody's coming through. So here's a little spot called Moose River Trading. Um, when they're open, they sell bait and things like that for people who like to fish right here off the Whitehall Bridge. So I'm just going to come up here to the bridge and show you the landing. You've probably seen this picture several times on my website. I do a lot of filming there and it's a nice area. There are a few historic buildings still. There's one back over there. So this is our boat dock area. The river's up a little bit. 
this is where I do most of my spells. When I'm going to be doing anything that has anything to do with water. And so there it is. So let me just flip. So yeah, that's my little town. The sun is bright. Um, we do have another area that has grocery stores and stuff, probably about 15 miles away. Um, no Starbucks here, no fast food, um, no real grocery stores or anything. So we do travel to get those things. Um, and when I need to get something fancy like vegan food, I need to go pretty far away. So a good hour and a half away to, to get anything like that. But I just wanted to share my town, let you see where um, the sanctuary is, um, what the area is like. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.